Today we're going to show you how to create an iTunes account for a different country to the one you're actually in. There are actually two ways to do this. The one we're going to show you here involves having an iTunes gift code for the country that you're creating the account for. You'll enter your code during the account setup process and then that will add credit to the account and you'll be able to use that to download paid for albums, movies, that kind of thing once the account's ready. You'll need to have an iTunes code ready, so if you don't already have one, there's a link at the bottom to buy one from our store. The other method is free, but obviously that means you'll only be able to get free downloads once the account has been completed. If you want to create a free account, there's also a link at the bottom to another of our videos that shows you how to create a free iTunes account. So, first thing you need to do is make sure you're connected to a VPN for the country that you're creating the account for. So I'm in the UK but I'm going to create a US iTunes account so I've already connected to a US VPN. Again if you're not sure about VPNs or you don't already have one there's a link in the description to uh, give you more information about that. So back in iTunes, scroll down to the very bottom and in the bottom right there's this flag icon. Just click on that and that brings up this full list of every country that there's an iTunes store for. So you can choose any of those countries to create your account. For this example I'm going to create a US account so I just click on United States that takes you straight back to the storefront but I was in the UK storefront and now I'm in the US storefront. Then click on account and sign in. That brings up this login box and just click on create new Apple ID. Click continue And on the next page, just check at the top there that the country is the correct country for where you want to create the uh, iTunes account. Go to the bottom, tick the box and click agree. On the next page, you just need to enter your email address. Make sure that is a real email address that you can check because they do send an email to that address and you'll need to be able to click on the link in there to confirm your account before you're actually able to use it. Pop in your password and then you have to choose three security questions and answers which you will need to enter. Make sure you remember the answers to these questions because you may need to use them to verify your account or if you ever lose the password or need to reset it, you can give those to uh, reset the password. Okay, on the next screen you'll see there's an option up here to enter credit card details. Don't do that because if you enter uh, card details for the wrong country then that won't work and you won't be able to create the account. It will only accept US card details for a US account. So what you need to do is pop an iTunes code in the box below. Obviously uh, then complete all the other fields, address, telephone number, that kind of thing. The address needs to be for the correct country that you're creating it for, not your real country. So you can just get that from Google Maps, look it up online. If you are creating a US account, we recommend you create it with a Florida address because there's actually no sales tax in Florida. So it saves you a bit of money when you get your uh, paid downloads. Put a phone number in and click Create Apple ID. Once you've done that, the account setup is complete. You need to go check your email and click on the confirmation link in the email before you can actually use the account. But that's all there is left to do. When you actually go back in to start using your account, you don't need to worry about using a VPN. You can just connect completely normally using your normal connection and download anything you like. You can add more codes to add more credit to the account and all your downloads just appear in your normal uh, iTunes library alongside the ones that you've made before.